Our next guest is an Emmy award-winning veteran journalist who has traveled the world covering breaking news stories, reporting in-depth investigations, and conducting newsmaker interviews. She co-hosted and co-anchored many shows, including the hit news magazine show 2020, World News Tonight, and Good Morning America, just to name a few. She joins a &E to bring her investigative lens to some new projects and uncover unseen stories of people and events in our society. I'd like to welcome the hardworking, award-winning journalist, Elizabeth Vargas to Sidewalks. Um, Elizabeth, thank you so much for being here with us. Um, we are huge fans of yours here at uh, Sidewalks. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, and um, we've been following your, your path and your career, and we just wanted to touch a little bit on, on your career before we talk about your new projects and, uh, and ask you, when did you realize you wanted to become a broadcast journalist? Wow, what a good question. I think that was in college. It, I, it wasn't when I was a kid because I grew up completely without TV. It's very ironic I make a living in it. I went to college <laughs> to be a newspaper reporter or a new, I wanted to write. That's what I thought I wanted to do. And then I fell in love with radio and I thought that's what I want to do. Go work for NPR. Um, and then uh, they said, fine, but you have to do the TV work too. And I obviously fell in love with television and started working the day after I graduated. And it's been a passion of mine. I love my job. I feel very lucky. I could imagine. Yeah, very lucky. Yeah. Well, you know, Elizabeth, as a fellow reporter as well, I know it's a lot of hard work that you do, that you put into stories. Um, I, I'm curious to know, I know everyone has their own technique, but what has helped you prepare for some of your toughest stories over the past years? I know it's probably a lot of things that you've learned, but what has really helped you kind of hone in on your toughest stories? You know, it's not a... Um... It's a very simple formula. I do all my homework. I'm, I'm, I was sort of known for that among my team of producers. I mean, I want a lot of, I want a big briefing binder. I want, and I'll read the whole thing. Um, I, I feel like being prepared is the only thing I need to do, but the, I do it with great gusto. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I'm very well prepared by the time I get into the interview. And, you know, I think what you have to have is a, an, an authentic and genuine curiosity in the story. Um, I think the viewers and the, the other person across from you in the interview chair can tell when you're faking it. And thank yeah. God I'm never faking it because I really do. Uh, if I do a story, it's because I genuinely find it interesting and I want I want to know more. Um, and ask more. So um, I think that's, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Well, you know, Elizabeth, you've obviously covered hundreds of stories in your career. And is there one that sticks out to you that you're most proud of doing? That's like asking me which of my children I love the most. Um, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a really hard question. But, you know, I think, you yeah. know, obviously a story that I brought to 2020 last November, I think has to rank up there. Um, it's already won a lot of awards. It was on a little boy with a facial deformity uh, called the Wonder Boy because he, his story, life story, is so much like the story of the of the little boy in the book Wonder um, that was just yeah. recently made into a movie. And we spent two and a half years following his family and uh, and telling his extraordinary story. And the response we got to that hour was like nothing else. Um, so. Uh, it, you know, that's, you know, when people trust you to let you come into their lives and spend that amount of time um, and then and then, you know, and tell their story. And, you know, remember, they don't have any oversight. They don't know what we're going to say or do. They really trusted us. And I feel like we helped change the world a little bit for children with facial deformities. It's a story that was near and dear to my heart. Yeah, and I think that's the biggest thing about you, Elizabeth, is you're so likable, you're so trusting, and I think so many you know viewers have come, have accepted you into their home in a sense, and we love that you've covered all these wonderful stories that are almost like they're human interest stories too that touch people's hearts. So that thank you for doing those those stories. Oh, thank so. you. But you know, even the big stories, even the, when I went to Baghdad, Iraq to cover the you know elections, we not we didn't just cover the elections. We covered the Baghdad Ballet School, this you know which was bombed seven times, and still the little girls were coming to dance. You know the Nutcracker. So. The human interest stories, you know, I think every story is a human interest story, even political stories, presidential interviews are also human interest stories. If you do enough homework, you can find that in there. So For sure. 
Well, you know, obviously you've been at 2020 for over a decade. Oh my goodness. Two what made oh, yeah, you decide? Yeah, yeah. yeah two right. decades over at two ABC. Decades. <laughs> yeah. At ABC, yes. You've been doing this for so, quite some time. And we're curious now, obviously transitioning now to A&E, what made you decide to take on this next adventure with A&E and take on your own kind of projects here? Well, at A&E Investigates, we're really, we get the time and the ability to go much deeper into stories. It's, it's a lot of the same long form, you know, storytelling, magazine work is what we call it in network television. Um, yes. You know, I, I did a lot of these stories as the anchor of 2020 for 14 years. Um, but I, we get more of a chance to dive a little deeper now with A&E Investigates. I mean, these documentaries, I mean, documentaries, that's what they are. In the specials I'm doing for A&E, whether it's the two-hour special on George and Cindy Anthony, the parents of the most hated mother in America, Casey Anthony, or the nine-part series we're doing on cults and extreme beliefs, we were able to spend, in many cases, months following uh, the people at the center of our story. And it's sort of like the Wonder Boy story I was just telling you about that I did for 2020, which was actually very much in the mode of A&E. Uh, investigates and that kind of documentary filmmaking storytelling where you get to spend an enormous amount of time and there's an intimacy that you create and a truth that you get to that is much more authentic than sort of the fleeting let's sit down and have an interview and spend one afternoon with you you know I'm gonna get to know you much better if I'm you know hanging around with you uh, for weeks yeah. or even months yeah and that definitely changes the story for you. I'm sure you get so much more right. uh, to the story, hanging out with these people and, and, and shedding the light on what's really happening in these, in these stories. Um, is there one in particular for you that you're just like, oh my gosh, this was like, you've been wanting to do something like this or cover a story? Because um, it sounds like these are all very special um, documentaries that you're going to be doing. I mean, imagine. Well, just, this is, this is yeah. obviously like I just signed off 2020 on Friday night. Yeah. So, oh, and congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and Monday night, I'm premiering uh, not one but two shows on A&E. So it was, we're just, uh, you know, while we, we were very hard at work and got right at it, um, I, there are a lot of um, documentaries and projects we have upcoming that I'm very excited about. And the nice thing is having that freedom to go in and say, hey, how about, you know, dot, 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 let's, let's investigate this. Um, yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, I, I'm really uh, excited about the prospect. And these first two um, you know, projects are absolutely fascinating. I mean, I covered the Casey Anthony story 10 years ago when it broke and then eight years ago when it went to trial. It was a, it was a story that gripped this country for two years. And sort of like the John Benet Ramsey case, also unsolved. I mean, these unsolved mysteries involving the murder of children, they haunt people. Uh, everybody remembers who Casey Anthony is for worse um, yeah, and has an I opinion. Know. So, you know, revisiting this whole story with her parents was, you know, an, it was an explosive interview because they are, th this tragedy feels like it happened yesterday for them. One of them believes their daughter's guilty of murder. The other believes she's innocent. They're at each other's throats. Um, it was an explosive interview. Yeah. Well, for you, Elizabeth, obviously, you know, you've, over the years, um, you've seen all kinds of stories. You've, you've been a part of the ever-changing landscape of journalism. And this is kind of like a three-part question, so we'll try and figure this one out. But what changes from, that, from, from this landscape of journalism that's been changing just in journal has impacted you? And maybe what have you learned about yourself? And what advice would you share to future journalists? Well, the business has changed dramatically just in the time I've been in it. Um, you know, when I first started in local news straight out of college, there were three networks, ABC, CBS, and NBC, full stop. Um, yeah. You know, now there are, you know, not just all the cable news networks and cable networks like A&E doing important, groundbreaking documentary work, but, you know, my gosh, there's, you know, all the stuff that you can find online. I mean, there is a brave new world out there. And the exciting thing for anybody just starting in my business, which I would encourage anybody, it's the best job in the world. I have gotten to see history unfold. I've been, I've interviewed presidents in White House and been to war zones and been to, you know, natural disasters. You see everything and meet everyone. But uh, the nice thing about it now is that anybody can do it anywhere, uh, it seems. Um, as long as you are careful and ethical. That's true. Well, 
Elizabeth, I wish we had more time with you. You've got a ton of stories I'm sure you could share with us. Um, and you have a wonderful story as well. We just wanted to send from Sidewalks, congratulate you on such a remarkable career and much continued success on your next adventure with A&E Investigates. And Thank thanks you for so. joining us today. Thank you so Thank much. You, I appreciate it, Veronica. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.